Dega pelvic osteotomy, a versatile osteotomy in developmental hip dysplasia surgery. Pelvic osteotomy is divided into complete transiliac and incomplete transiliac. The complete transiliac like Salter, Sutherland, Steele and the Greenfield. The incomplete like Elby, Pemberton, Pembersal, Dege and San Diego depending on the penetration of outer table only or both tables. In our osteotomy is also divided into a reconstructive and salvage. The reconstructive means there is a femoroacetabular congruency. These are divided into reorienting like Salter and Steel, reshaping like Pemberton and Dega. The salvage there is femoroacetabular incongruency like Chiari, Stiley and Wilson, which includes complete transiliac or incomplete transiliac. Dega in 1969 described his incomplete transiliac pelvic osteotomy, in which the cut penetrated the anterior and middle thirds of the inner cortex of the ilium, leaving an intact hinge posteriorly. This hinge consisted of the posterior medial iliac cortex and the greater sciatic notch. Variations in graft size and placement, extent of inner and outer cortical cuts, and thickness of the acetabular fragment make it possible both to reorient and reshape the acetabulum, like, just like Salter and Pemberton. For example, in congenital dysplasia, the acetabular deficiency is most pronounced anteriorly, mandating the placement of the larger graft more anteriorly. A smaller graft is then wedged more posteriorly, just in front of the intact sciatic notch. Theoretical hinges of rotation in Dega osteotomy. It is believed that osteotomy hinges are the greater sciatic notch, the posterior medial iliac cortex, the triradiate cartilage, and the symphysis fucus. And this theory has its burden on the triradiate cartilage affection in cases of other reshaping osteotomies like Pemberton and in the changing of the configuration of the obturator foramen on postoperative x rays. Because it is a reshaping osteotomy, the contraindication is a big head and a small acetabulum. Fluoroscopy is necessary until gaining enough experience according to the interlateral hip approach which avoids inner table superiorstead exposure. But with inner table exposure like Salter's approach, you will reduce fluoroscopy to a minimum. Like Bemberton, it requires an open triradiate cartilage. Although some argue that you can use it after triradiate cartilage closure depending on other hinges like a greater sciatic notch and posterior medial cortex and symphysis pupus. <laughs>
After completing the osteotomy, including the outer table and the inner table, only the anterior third and sometimes the middle third, but never the posterior third or the posterior medial cortex. Uh, an osteotome of about one inch uh, is introduced into the gap. And then we mark with a cautery a triangular bicortical piece of the ilium as a graph divided into three pieces, large, medium, and small, to be uh, used as a graft in the uh, space. The space is opened by a laminectomy separator, and you can feel the springiness because it hinges on the triradiate cartilage and checked by image intensifier pair operatively to know the direction and to know the width of the graft that you will use. Here are the three pieces of the graft. The most, the larger one is the anterior one, then the middle, then the smaller one. Sometimes in children older than three years or more, we may use the piece of femoral shaft osteotomized during the process of procedure of uh, shortening we cut it into two trapezoidal pieces to be insinuated between the upper and the lower segments of the gap to hold it there and by the resiliency of the triradiate carriage no need to fix these two segments together although some surgeon used in older people some cancilla screw in pali super hip surgery in the treatment of congenital femoral deficiency he utilized the modified dega osteotomy to cover the head and create a an excellent roof to prevent dislocation in the process of elongation Complications include femoral head lateralization due to imperfect technique or having a small acetabulum or big femoral head. Acetabular penetration also due to bad technique. Femoral head, a vascular necrosis, 8%. Bone graft dislodgement, that's why some use cancellous screw fixation in older patients and less than ideal acetabular index because of the bad technique and not levering the roof a uh, good uh, distance down to cover the femoral head. Here we present three cases of Dega osteotomy with open reduction in the first two patients, 24 months old and 15 months old and another patient who was three years old where we done a triple surgery including upper reduction, DEGA and femoral shortening deirritation osteotomy. After 25 years experience with DDH surgery utilizing the classical Salter and Pemberton in nominate osteotomies, we decided to start using DEGA transiliac osteotomy on March 2015. The early results are encouraging and we recommended this osteotomy for DDA surgery from the first year of age till late adolescence. It is safe, efficiently cover the femoral head both laterally and anteriorly, versatile by changing the graft size and site, less damaging to the triradiate cartilage and can be useful for a wider age range. Thank you.